Pablo Jordan at MRN Contract, and this is Joel from JND SEO. And I'm going to show you three ways that you can actually improve your website and beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time, Jordan. I don't want to waste mine, so I'm going to make this video as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you do have any questions um, or want to hear more, we could set up a 5-10 minute phone call. If not, no problem. I'm going to give you a bunch of free tips in here anyway that you could actually go right ahead and apply right to your site. All right, so we're going to talk about content, citations, and backlinks in this video. So let's start with the content. I'm on your homepage now, and Google recommends having about 1,500 words of content on your homepage. And the reason they want so much is that the more you have, the uh, more information you're putting out there. That's better for Google and everybody that's essentially searching for you know that information because they want to be able to essentially help people. So the sites that have more content, they're going to be giving them a higher ranking and ranking them higher. So it looks like you guys probably have under five or 600 words of content on your page, I would say. So not bad at all, um, but definitely adding some more would help. And I don't see a blog for you guys. I didn't see one at the bottom either. If you had that, that's another way just if you didn't have the content to essentially offer the same thing where you, um, you know, would be giving out something that has tip strategies. People love reading it. Google loves uh, ranking blogs high also. I'm also going to hop over to Mr. Roofer here. They're one of the top results in Atlanta. And the reason why is because if you want to climb to the top of the rankings, why not look at a company that's already doing it and basically see what they're doing, get some tips from them, right? So if we look at their page, we're going to find right away they don't have 1,500 words of content either. In fact, they probably have under 400 words of content on their page. Now, that alone is not going to make them uh, fall down the rankings. However, you want to beat them in all three topics that we talk about today. So one that we know now would be pretty easy would be content. Now, for you guys, I did also see this page. It's your um, your MRN, contra your, uh, yeah, MRN contracting NC.com for North Carolina. And there's also, I think, a, was it a GA one as well? Now, this one is down. I don't know if you guys have just moved to this one now or if that's um, a separate thing. Um, but anyway, just wanted to point that out. So also, the other reason though it's good to have a lot of content is the more content you have, the more keywords you can put into that content. I've just put in Roofing Atlanta GA here as an example. It's got a lot of people that search this one. Um, and first thing you would find would be ads. And these are the companies that are paying for ads at the very top. They'll be the first thing that they see. Second thing they're going to see is this map pack GMB or Google My Business. And the way to get on here is through citations, which is our second topic. Top three companies are going to show up in this preview window. They show up on the main search page and they're going to get a ton of clicks for it and a lot of phone calls. So it really pays to be number in the top three for this. And the way to get that is just to get your citations, which is your business name, your um, address and phone number has to be all be exactly the same on every site but get those all submitted into a directory site those are sites like yelp yellow pages home advisor just to name a few and after that we're going to get to our organic section and we can um, we're going to get 10 results per page so if you just want to be on the first page for any keyword you just have to get inside the top 10 for it for ranking so we can go ahead and rank this one, Roofing Atlanta GA. Number one goes to uh, Mr. Roofer Atlanta, our target site. Two is going to go to New Image Roofing Atlanta. Three is going to go to Roofing Atlanta Inc. So remember that there's 10 per page because that will come back here when we talk about content. Um, I'm sorry, keywords. So I took your site now, mrncontracting.com, plugged it into a program called Eris. This uh, allows me to just see how your site's performing. I see you've got your headers at the top, your name, as well as a keyword, which is a really good thing. And then let's dive into the numbers. So we've got 186 backlinks right now. And backlinks are just links that when people click them, they're going to redirect them back to their site. Now, it doesn't have to be a actual link. It could be a picture or a button if there's a link behind it. And referring domains are just websites that you have these links on. So for instance, you have 186 links on these 39 pages. A great example would be like a Facebook business page. If you had a Facebook business page for your site, that would be a, your Facebook business page would be your referring domain. And the part where it has your web address, that would be your backlink. And when you click it, it's going to send you right back to your website. Now, the more websites that point back to your site through backlinks, that's going to increase this number here, which is your UR. And this is your trust for Google or Google Trust. These sites vouch for you. And at the 39 you guys have, we can see at least nine of them are pretty powerful. And that's why your power ranking here, your DR, is only at a four. 
because it's only nine of the 39 that are pretty powerful. If there were more uh, powerful ones, this would be a lot higher and closer to that number. But the higher your trust is, the more keywords you're going to be found for. Right now, you got about 142 you can be found for. And that's bringing in about 44 visitors to your website right now. So let's take a quick look at your keywords. And first thing we see is your uh, business name, MRN Contracting. 70 people search you by name right now. And for this one, you guys are in the top position. So we know that the top 10 positions will get you on that first page. And so being number one is the best. And you, usually with number one, you're going to capture about 20 to 37% of the actual volume total here for the 70. Now for you guys at number one, it's going to be 23 of the 70 for this specific uh, keyword. So these are all really this um, have to do with your name. They're not quite the same. This one's construction. These are contracting. Um, but I want to just jump down and see what you guys have for some like buyer intent keywords, ones that would bring in the new customers. Um, here, okay, this one. Roofing contractors, Biloxi MS. So 20 people search that one exactly. Uh, you guys are ranked 21, which is going to put you at the top of page three for that one. So that's going to give you 0 0.04 of one visitor of the 20. So again, you're ranked on the third page. 80 to 85 percent of people will not go to page two. So you really do want to be in that top 10 to catch those visitors. All right, and let's hop over just to um, Mr. Roofer Atlanta. They've got their headers up here. They've got 443 websites or referring domains pointing back to them, giving them a trust of 37. 60,000 backlinks pointing back to their site when you click them on these 443 websites. Uh, powers of 15, so it, it's it's not bad. It could be a little better, of course. Um, and, okay, let's see. So the 37 is allowing them to actually have about 542 keywords they can be found for. And that's bringing about 1,400 actual visitors to their website every month. Let's take a quick look at a few of their keywords and see what they've got here. All right, Roofing Repairs Atlanta. That's a good one. 300 people search that every month. They're ranked number two for that one. So they're going to get 51 of the 300 visitors to their website. Roof Repair Atlanta GA. 150 search it they're number one catching 48 of the 150 to their site so just in these top two they've got um about 100 people 99 and if we look at the next two 46 46 more that's almost 200 people just in four different good keywords and these all have to do with getting new customers in their different areas as you can see all right so typically about 100 visitors is going to bring you about 20 to 30 actual phone calls to your phone and that's a little bit conservative, but you know, and then depending whatever your ratios are for closing, uh, as far as getting estimates and then going on to the, getting the jobs, you know, conservatively, it's probably two to four jobs per month. Um, it definitely could be a lot more than that as well. Now that you guys kind of have all the information, though, really three choices, right? If you're not interested in growing, happy with where you're at, you don't have to do anything with it. If you guys really want to grow, you want to build the business, want to get more customers, want to grow your online presence. Maybe you have someone you use, you can show them this video if this is what they do as well. And the third option, if you don't have anyone you use, you're, you really want to grow it like we talked about. You know, you want to get more customers, really increase your online presence. We could just set up a 5-10 minute phone call. I can answer any questions for you. Um, or I can even just give you some more information if you guys wanted to hear that as well. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. And have a great day.